Hey guys, it's Rafas here, and today I'm going to show you how you can get an account to auto log on in Windows 11. So what you need to do is you need to come to this link here, the link will be in the description, and we're going to be using auto log on. So what this tool will do is it will take your password for your account that you put in, encrypt it and store it in the registry, and make changes to the registry to make the account auto log in on startup. So all you want to do is click download auto log on, and then we want to come to our downloads, and we will then just extract the zip file. And now that's been extracted, I can now delete the zip, and then inside of the folder, there should be three exes so auto log on to exe is for 32-bit systems which you're most likely not on if you're on windows 11 as there is not a 32-bit version and then you have the auto login 64a which is for the arm systems which again probably not yours there's not many arm systems around at the minute and then the final one is auto log on 64 which is your most likely one that is just a 64-bit windows 11 running on an x86 architecture which you most likely have unless you have a machine with an arm cpu so all we need to do is just right click on the auto login 64 then click run as administrator and then click yes now you do need to run it as an administrator for it to be able to make the changes to the registry now as you can see it's already detected my local account name pc and has already filled in the domain name now if your machine is part of a domain this is where you would put the domain name if your machine isn't which if it's a personal one it very likely is not then you can either leave it blank or you can put the machine name in there so if you just want to see if your machine is part of a domain all you have to do is come to settings and system then about and then click on domain or work group now if it just says work group here in the work group that means your machine is not part of a domain and you can either leave that box blank or use the full computer name however if your machine was part of a domain hopefully you would know but that's where the domain name should show for you so if it says work group do not use work group either leave it blank or use the machine name if it does have a domain in use the domain name so as this machine is not part of a domain i'm going to leave the domain box blank and then you would just want to type the password for that account so i've typed the password for my local pc account and now if i click enable as you can see it's successfully configured and if i click ok if we now just restart the machine we will see if it automatically logs on the pc local user and there we go, as you can see, that automatically logged us on. Now, if we want to disable it, all we have to do is run the auto log on exe again. So if we come to it and we run it as administrator, and then we put the password in for the account again, and then we just click disable. And there we go, auto logon has now been disabled for that account. Now it also works the same if you have a Microsoft account. So if I run it again, I do have a Microsoft account on this machine as well. So if I just remove the domain name and I change the username to the email of the Microsoft account, and then again, fill out domain if you are part of an domain. If you're not, leave it blank. And then just type the password for your Microsoft account. And then if we click enable, as you can see, it's successfully configured. So if I restart the machine again, hopefully this time it will automatically log into my Microsoft account. And there you go. As you can see, that's automatically logged us in. So that's how you can get both a Microsoft account or a local account to automatically sign in. Hopefully that worked for you. If you liked the video, don't forget the like button. If you did like to hit the dislike button, subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you another time. Bye.